For as long as I can remember, I've been fascinated by public sculpture. I absolutely love this stuff. I think it started back when I was a kid and uh, the Gateway Arch was going up in St. Louis and, and when they dedicated it, it, it had a huge impact on me. Uh, I went from that to one of my buddies was into Calder and he showed me these photographs of Calder's giant stabiles and they hit me hard. Long about that same time, Picasso's uh, great sculpture in Chicago was uh, installed and there was a huge row over it. People got upset because uh, they didn't like it and I got a huge kick out of it. And I've always thought that it was the, the pinnacle. That, to be able to, uh, uh, to do that seemed to me like a dream beyond uh, belief. Not only that, uh, it, it seems important, something that's out there in the public view, that's always there for people to see. They drive by it every day and it's, it's a part of the world in a, in a different way than, than a painting in a museum. And it, it seems to me that it, it matters. And so that was the beginnings of my interest. But that was an interest in art. The idea of making art like that is, uh, is a pretty different thing altogether. I didn't really consider that as an option. But I started working with my hands. I studied woodworking and uh, went through the whole shop scene in high school and, and got a feel for what it means to work with your hands. And that hit me pretty hard as well. This uh, whole thing that goes on as a craftsman and that connection to the, the material and, and such. It makes a huge difference uh, in your life and how you feel about things and it provides a, a connection. So I, I stuck with it and I, I went to college and immediately gravitated to the art department and, uh, and started picking up skills wherever I could. Now you gotta understand this is for somebody who is, uh, I, I, I am not, uh, uh, your typical artist, I don't, I don't draw uh, well, I'm not a, a, a great representational person. My connection to art is visceral. I, I come at it from the gut and it's much more about feel than it is about um, the ability to recreate something you might see in nature. So, going to art school, I started to be introduced to really what goes on in the art world and, and I started to look. And the more I looked, the more moved I was. The abstraction and the whole uh, of what goes on in, in the abstract art world, the part that just flies over the head of a lot of people, and I'm like, well, what, what is that? It, it had so much more impact for me than um, the representational stuff. And I think that that's uh, what a lot of people, you know, have a difficult time with they tend to want to see something that represents something as opposed to uh, an image or a, a sculpture that just is. They, they need, I think, sometimes to just allow themselves to experience rather than try to uh, bring uh, their preconceptions to what they see. But uh, 
that aside, I don't care about that. What it is, is what it did to me. What it mattered to me it was huge. It, it had a, just a tremendous impact. It made the, such an impression that it, it gave me meaning, gave meaning to my life. That's all there is to it.